We have visit plans in place for destroyed homes in all areas and structurally sound homes in Abbasan, Beacon Hill, and Waterways. Visits to destroyed homes outside of the restricted areas will begin June 5th on a limited basis. Visitations, again, to destroyed homes outside of restricted areas will begin on June 5th on a limited basis. Visits to destroyed homes inside of the restricted areas, Abbasan, Beacon Hill, and Waterways, will begin on June the 8th. These visitations will be facilitated by an NGO group known as Team Rubicon. And you will hear their story here in a few minutes. And I've got to say, they're an incredible agency, they're volunteers, and they're here in our community to take this task on as professionals free of charge and tremendous amount of experience. Those wishing to visit their home, the destroyed homes, to make the appointment, call the Pulse Line to book a visit. For safety reasons, residents will not be permitted to visit destroyed homes on their own. We are a nonprofit organization that uh, uh, provides disaster relief. Uh, started in 2010 with two Marines wanting to help out after the earthquake in Haiti. Um, they put together a group of six others, so a team of eight, flew into the Dominican Republic, crossed the river into uh, Haiti, and provided assistance. When they got back, they figured they were onto something. That sense of service, purpose, and mission we have as, as veterans um, when we get out, that's, that's missing in our lives. Um, the, we, we've been involved in over uh, 100 operations domestically in the U.S. We've been to Nepal. I just recently myself returned from Ecuador post-earthquake. Um, we're going to be here to help provide um, retrieval of small items, heirlooms, and things of that nature in the totally destroyed areas basically sifting. It's a highly hazardous environment. Our guys are trained uh, and will be wearing the proper uh, protective equipment. We've been in contact with the uh, occupational health and safety here in Alberta uh, to make sure we're meeting those criteria as far as personal protective equipment. We do have experience in this. Uh, personally, I've been to the fires, the wildfires that they had in Pateras, uh, Washington, state of Washington, Okanagan County, two years ago. Um, so we, we kind of know what we're doing now. We've learned through that experience to be able to provide a, a service for those affected here. This is our first mission that we're deploying on, and we're very happy to be here with our U.S. partners. And um, we're just getting started as Team Rubicon Canada, and I think this is the very best opportunity that we could have to come and provide the level of expertise and service that this organization can provide to the residents free of charge so that way we can help people get back to a sense of normalcy and uh, get them going again when, in the process of re rebuilding their lives.